I think the, most of the voters are sick of Labour and Conservatives because they just don't trust them anymore basically because they've not represented the wishes of, of the majority. Our government is so corrupt. We voted out. Most of my colleagues, my veteran friends that were here today, we voted to leave. Leave means leave. Leave didn't mean leave with some dodgy deal. Uh, forecast for Brexit uh, elections next week is Nigel Farage will wipe the floor with people who've um, committed treason against the, uh, the country. Theresa May is showing that she's possibly slightly mad. If she cannot, and she's living in a Westminster bubble, if she cannot realise that the rest of the country, apart from London, wants to leave the EU, so she should have some dignity and resign. What this country needs is a Brexiteer who f fulfills the promise of the electorate, who 17.4 million of us voted to leave the EU. So she is paid by the taxpayer to represent our wishes and she is going totally against that because of her friends in the EU who actually wrote the withdrawal agreement, not Theresa May, because there were so many um, mistakes in the language, it wasn't written in, in English. So basically she needs to go. When they, the, the Tories get slaughtered on the 23rd of May, they might finally wake up and realise they need to get rid of Theresa May. So we'll, we'll, we'll see, see what happens after then. I don't know what's going to happen there, but again, that just shows you how corrupt it is. Uh, the Brexit party hopefully will win. There will be some government left in charge. Theresa May may have to resign. Who's going to take over from her? Boris Johnson, we don't know. The Labour Party, we cannot let Corbyn and his uh, communists take over the country. Uh, he's an IRA sympathiser, had been for many years, since the 70s. So, it's a, it's a difficult one to call. I would like to see Nigel Farage take over the country and we'll leave uh, the European uh, Union and we go it alone. I remember I've had a good life. I've had a good life. My, my father and my grandfather fought through it. In fact, my grandfather fought in the Boer War, the First World War and the Second World War. My grandfather, I'm a lot older than I look. And he, wonderful man. And they stood proud for our traditions. I, mean, I love being part of Europe. I want to stay part of Europe. I just want a shot of the EU that wants to make it. The union is globalism. Let's be fair. If you were dealing with one government, as opposed to 28 different governments, easier to control. And that's why the globalists, that's why the globalists want the EU. Because it's easier to deal with the EU than it is to deal with 28 different countries. That's why they are killing our identity. I'd love to go to France and see the French. I'd love to go to Germany and see the Germans. I'd love to go to Spain and see the Spanish. And the Italians. It's brilliant. We are 28 different countries that should be unique countries that live together as part of Europe, not one European state.